In June of 2017, my sister was diagnosed with bilateral breast cancer. I was getting dressed one morning. As I was putting on a shirt or something, I felt something funny on one side. It was hard. And I thought, mm, that isn't right. I just remember during the diagnosis, it's a lot to process. It's you're trying to kind of stay above water. All of a sudden, you feel like there's just a flood coming. And it's tough. With a cancer diagnosis at a young age like my sister's, genetic testing is now pretty normal protocol. She tested positive for a hereditary BRCA2 mutation. Soon after, my mom and I got tested. We're both positive too. Immediately, my sister started crying and felt somehow that she was responsible. But I told her, you're the reason why we have the chance to know and to possibly avoid everything that you're having to go through. When you're BRCA positive, it means you're at a higher risk for certain cancers, and it also means more frequent screenings. Three months after my sister's diagnosis, my mom was diagnosed with stage zero breast cancer. It was much harder for me to watch them than myself. Wait, I mean, there's no comparison. Yeah. None. I would have traded places if I could, but... Yep, me too. Now there was this nagging truth that I would soon have some serious decisions to make too. That meant the possibility of a preventative double mastectomy. Although I asked many doctors to make the decision for me, nobody would do it. I asked, am I making the right choice? And unfortunately, everyone said to me, there is no wrong or right. It's what's best for you. And while that is probably the right answer, it was the hardest answer to receive. But I think all along in my heart, I knew. When you become a mom, it's not about you anymore. It's about your kid, it's about your family. I gotta do what's best for them. So what's best for them? It's me being healthy and it's me being around. There was found in three of the four quadrants, so. We tested the tissue and we got results that basically there are cancerous cells in the tissue, but they haven't like broken free. So it just validated the whole decision for her to have it done. This whole journey made us understand each other in deeper, different ways than we did before, which I wasn't expecting. Had I not known I was BRCA positive, I wouldn't have known until I had cancer. That awareness and knowledge saved all of our lives. Hopefully somebody else too.